Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 4. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 16 of Book 4. And in this proposition, we're going to show how to draw a 15-sided figure inside of a circle. And of course, it will be equilateral and equal angular, just like all the previous propositions. So of course, to start with, we need a circle. And now we're going to draw an equilateral triangle and copy it into the circle. So here we have an equilateral triangle copied into our circle. Now we're going to inscribe a pentagon into the circle. Now, of course, it's not stated explicitly in the uh, proposition in Euclid's book, but the points, at least one of the vertices, well, at least one of the vertices must coincide between the triangle and the pentagon. Now let's bisect the arc BC at the point E. And then we draw the line BE and we copy that line using the methods previously described at the beginning of this book from here to here, from here to here, and here and here, and so on and so forth to form a contiguous polygon. And this polygon is an equilateral, equal angular, 15 sided figure. Now to prove it is what we say it is, let's go back and look at our equilateral triangle and our pentagon. Now in an equilateral triangle, it divides the circle into three equal pieces. And by doing that, we can say that the circumference AC is equal to one third of the circle. So if we had our 15 segmented polygon, this would contain five segments. Now segment AB is one fifth of the circle. So again, if we have our 15 sided polygon, it would be three segments of the polygon. So again, this is one fifth of our circle. So if we look at AB, sorry, if we look at AC, which was five segments or one third of our circle, and subtract off one fifth of our circle, we are left with two fifteenths of a circle, or in other words, two segments of our 15 sided polygon. Now, since BC was divided into two or bisected, then the distance BE would be 1 15th of our circle. And if this distance is 1 15th of our circle, we can then use this exactly 15 times to create a continuous polygon. Now using the same arguments that we used for pentagons and hexagons, the points that we used to divide the circle into equal segments will create equal angular and equilateral polygons. So rather than go through all the steps required to show that each one of these sides is equal angular and equilateral, it's exactly the same methods of what we used in the previous propositions of these books. So in this case, Euclid just said, you know what, go back and look it up if you've forgotten. So since I'm following Euclid's book, I too will not reiterate all the details. And if you want the details, just look at the previous propositions. So there we have it. That is how you draw a 15 sided figure inside of a circle where the 15 sided figure is equal angular and equilateral. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.